the side. Move on to our next guy. Just trying to be kind of random. Work it down into the low recesses and. Not worried about too much about smearing paint or anything like that. Can always fix that later. Really, you're not going to see half of this. Actually, you're probably not going to see very much of any of it because the way the weathering process works, you end up painting over this entire thing, and then you kind of pull away the pieces that you don't want, or the pieces that you do want to weather with this chipping stuff. So, you know, you can put a lot of effort in here at the early stages, and it'll look good once it's rested out, but I think for what we're doing, and actually you can leave some of these just very, very um, super weathered, which I might leave one or two. Just trying to be random in our application here. What's up, big? Big Rouser. How you doing tonight? Or this morning, wherever you guys are. It's night here. super super high pigment so it's good for the orange um, I'm actually kind of glad that I'm doing this I'll just do some buff for the final color and then um, I think I'll try just airbrushing the gloss coat I don't know we'll see I'd hate to like just go out and spray it but it takes way too long for it to dry if I do that oh nice <laughs> happy birthday Always fun ordering minis for yourself. What are you looking at getting? Actually, I kind of like the way this sponge effect comes on. You guys can see it there. It's a nice, kind of subtle panel effect. It's just using the flat part of the, the sponge here. This is like KR, KR multi case foam. It was from like one of the inserts that you pull out. Now 
It actually kind of gives it like an almost pre kind of streaked. War convocation army yesterday. Oh, uh, what? What? Uh, is that like a um? Is that a warpath or not warpath? Uh, war machine hordes. I don't know what is a uh, what is war convocation. Is what, reading that right? War convocation. Yes, war convocation. Never heard of that before. What game system is that for? <laughs> Lord of Skulls, Abaddon, and a Defiler. Nice, some chaos stuff. Milk for the cornflakes. Forty K War Con War Convocation. Is that that must be um must be something I've not heard of. I'm I'm old school forty K, so um you know, I know about like Catechins and Morty and Iron Guard and you know, all the old old school rogue trader orcs and all that kind of stuff. Um, not too familiar with the stuff that GW is putting out nowadays, so... Are they like Space Marines, Chaos, IG, what? Combination of... Oh, okay. Cult Mechanics, okay, Pyramid Mind, okay, Adeptus Mechanicus, gotcha. Yeah, they've... That's kind of something that I've not kept up with, is the, uh, the new stuff that they've got for the... What, AM? Adeptus Mechanicus AM? They got some really cool robots, though. I've been eyeing them for... For doing, like, some post-apoc... Robots and stuff, but... I don't know, the price tag on some of them is like, oh man, I'd love to have that, but I don't think I can justify it. Maybe if they go on sale at some point, or if I can pick them up secondhand off of eBay or someplace like that. I have to scrape all the, the cogs and everything off of it and can paint it up. I actually saw a guy that do a really nice, kind of like retro, kind of like blue, like a baby robin's egg blue color. It was really, really cool. <laughs> Others. That's the only problem, man. Oh, I, there's so many choices for cool miniatures these days. But if you're playing an army, I guess, um, yeah, it kind of dictates what you're gonna pick up and you know what plays well. And I guess they do like what do they have like um, formations? I think is something that they added. It'll be the last edition or a recent edition of 40k. So you like buy certain models out of the army list, and then I guess they form and a formation and then you get like special rules that you can use through the game something like that correct me if I'm wrong it's been a while since I've done anything 40k related that's not just been for the miniatures the Imperial Knights are pretty cool models I've been tempted at some point maybe to get one just to paint, but it'd be a pretty big project. I think I'd spend it on something different, probably get like a, a Forge World tank or something. Get like a Macarius or some, some big resin tank like that. Okay, so you get you have to take certain things for your war convocation list, and then um, you get special rules if you've selected all the options. And I'm assuming like GW kind of packages that stuff as like a, a bundle deal that you can just say, "Hey, here's a one-click stop and shot," and they give you kind of everything you need for it. Or you kind of have to like pick and choose from from the whole range, to make sure that you get everything. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things that GW makes that I'd like to get back into, but I'm, I'm kind of doing other other modeling projects and other hobby-related things that's not 40k-related anymore. I actually heard a rumor that they're going to be bringing back some out-of-print stuff, kind of like on-demand, which will be interesting. We'll see if they bring back like any of the, the Necromunda or Gorkamorka or Mordheim stuff, which I think would be pretty cool just kind of do like metal, like a metal on demand service kind of deal, like they used to do like a bit service. Oh, I have to pick it all up separate, that's a bummer. I know they, they for a long time they were doing kind of like, um, I guess like everything in the new release that they were doing, they would basically bundle it up and, and sell it. So it'd be like a one stop, one stop shop kind of deal. Crap, get on there. Alright, two more to go. Actually, 
really didn't get the top of that one all that well. Just do this off camera real quick here. Sorry for bumping the, the camera. Really like this. This Reaper Orange. All Nurgle. Yeah, Nurgle must be fun to paint. Get to do all the, the pustules and disease and... Man, I should really get like another glove for this process, but... I think we're almost finished. Did Nightbot just really do it? <laughs> Stupid thing. Quit spam in the chat, Nightbot. Pretty certain most of you guys are familiar with blue. It's probably what brought you here. Kind of quiet Sunday night. I don't think very many people stream today. Too much going on. We had football. The Broncos lost. Played abysmally. Falcons played well though. Credit to them. This is like such a long, tedious process that once it actually gets down to it and you do the actual painting, it's like, oh man, cover up pretty much like 90% of all the, the work that you do, but it gives a nice varied effect in the end. It sure as hell beats doing this just on its own after you've already painted everything. Because sponge weathering works, but I do like the way this chipping stuff that I use pulls everything off. You get really nice, uh, really nice effects with it. And actually, you know what? I might be able to work. Ah, uh, I could probably work on some roads. Oh, uh, these are Reaper Bones crates. Um, they're shipping containers. They're like a hard, hard plastic from uh, Reaper Miniatures. Like seven, eight bucks a piece. But you don't have to assemble them. I think you can get them cheap from the War Store. I think the War Store has them for like six fifty or something like that. Um, and I've also got some dumpsters kicking around. But uh, I don't know. I might brush. The airbrush out, bring the airbrush out, or I might just do some sponge weathering on that instead. I'm gonna try and hold the container up off the, the desk now that I'm thinking about this at the very end for the last one. Because I'm sure me banging on the, the table is not helping anybody out. That's good. Alright, so we put that back. And we've got Pale Saffron, that's too yellow. I've got Gilded Yellow. I don't know if I want to do... I could do like an off. Let me get a... put a glo another glove on here so I don't have to like deal with grody hands. Driving me crazy. 